So here's the video that a lot of you have probably been waiting for, or none of you have been waiting for, I don't know. Over the course of my channel, over the last few years, I have covered a few Falmouth University related topics, and I have just graduated. Thank you, thank you very much. And I have covered my thoughts on the film course at the university, along with other parts. I will link a few, there'll be videos around if you want some thoughts. If someone's watching this and you're about to go to Falmouth or you're at Falmouth or you're about to go to uni, write something in the comments about what you want to see because I do have first-hand experience on uni. I think it'd be useful. It was useful for me, so if there's anything I can pass on then I'll do my best. <laughs> so in this video I'm going to cover as best I can an overall view of the film course at Falmouth University. So if that's something you're interested in, if you want to study film, watch this video because I've just done it and I've got some good some good points. I'm just going to hop straight into some pros and some cons and my biggest pro is that you are encouraged to try absolutely everything which is also a con. Hear me out. I arrived at Falmouth not having studied film or media before. I studied acting. I wanted to be an actor and I changed. I changed last minute. I changed to film. So I thought I would be left behind by everyone. I thought everyone else on the course would know a lot more than me. And if that's you, if you're in a similar situation, then don't worry because you will leave the course. You, you'll leave your first year having learned so much um, because they start right from the beginning. Yeah, you are encouraged to try a lot of different things. You're encouraged to not stick to one pathway. You're encouraged to go outside of your comfort zone, which is great. But the flip side is you're also encouraged to do anything. And sometimes there were moments where I couldn't really see the link between what we were doing and filmmaking. So let me give you an example. There was one time that I sat in on an experimental film seminar or session. Uh, and in this particular session, everyone was playing with clay and I, I got the point of the exercise. The exercise was to just think creatively and experimental film especially is is very fluid. It's not as black and white as your typical filmmaking. But I couldn't see how this was relevant to the to to the degree because you're just playing with clay. And there are a lot of sessions like that where I felt like the tutors were just reading off a slide, for example, and I thought why have I come in at nine in the morning for this when, when I can just read the PowerPoint at home? But then there were other sessions that were so crucial that you were there in the room because you, you, you'll, miss, you'll miss something and you'll, you'll miss the environment. Uh, and especially going online, moving towards an online course because of, you know, COVID. <laughs> moving online really made me miss those classroom environments, those lecture and seminar environments. And yeah, I think, I think, as I've said, that was a pro and a con of the course. One big con about the course that a lot of people comment on is the fact that it's not as practical based as they'd like. There's a lot of theory involved at Falmouth and that's because y you need both. You can't just pick up a camera and start filming things without knowing the history of film and the theory of film because you're not going to improve. But the flip side is you can't just do theory because then you're not putting anything into practice. And I think that's where the course can sometimes get things a bit wrong. Now, don't get me wrong, each term you do make a film. Uh, in your first few years, it's normally a five minute film, but then as you progress, it gets a bit longer. Um, but that's, tri that's strictly in terms of the, the course. You can obviously film things outside of lecture time, outside of your timetable, and that is encouraged. But if that becomes too much of your priority, then they won't let you book equipment out. They won't let you make a film. And a lot of people got frustrated with that. Me, not so much, because I like the theory. I've said that before. But if you are looking for a course that has a lot of practical, perhaps Falmouth isn't the place for you. Now, there is a lot of practical. There's a lot of chances for you. But there is a lot of theory. And that's not a bad thing either, but that's just my personal preference. Now, I could sit here and talk about the campus as well and Cornwall as a whole, uh, which are both beautiful and you're not going to be lost for, for natural beauty for your films. That That is around every corner. 
But that's obvious. That's obvious. I think it's more important that I stay on topic with the course. Now, I'm a writer. I'm a writer and I've also produced. I enjoy producing. Um, so I didn't use a lot of the facilities, but I, I've used them. I know they're there. And both the editing facilities, the sound facilities, the, the, the actual camera and lighting facilities are amazing. Now, one bad part, and this is probably the case for any film course at any university in the UK, is that the, um, the stock, the camera stock, is limited. And if everyone's trying to use the cameras at the same point, sometimes they can get booked up. So if you are going to Falmouth to use a certain camera, let's say you've read online that in your second year you get access to a certain camera, don't go to this uni solely for that reason. Filmmaking is more than just pointing a camera at something. And if you are there just to use fancy equipment, then you probably won't get the good, a good experience out of it. I have met people, I am friends with people who went to this uni to use certain equipment, to be able to use that equipment. And that is a part of it. That is a large part of the course. But if you are going just for that, then you might be a little bit disappointed. I think the most important rule and if you're going to take one thing from this video, if you want to study at Falmouth University, it's... Don't be big-headed. Don't think that you are better than the staff or the other students. I have met people, and I'm not going to name names in case anyone's watching, who think that their version of filmmaking is the only version of filmmaking. And the, the way that filmmaking is taught at the university is wrong. Because they are trying their best to set you up for the industry. So I have been taught, everyone on the course has been taught, how generally a film is made from the beginning to end. And this covers, this covers all forms of production. Now, obviously, filmmaking is a very wide, wide thing, and there's not one way to do it. And I think that's where the university and the students can sometimes clash, because the university are teaching you one way, students are coming from all over the world, and they're saying, well, no, no, there's a different way to do it. There are shortcuts, and you have to learn to do both, I think. The university are very uh, aware of the paperwork needed for filmmaking. I know, very boring, I'm gonna make this very quick, but there's a lot of paperwork, a lot of risk assessments needed, and students want to come along and just film things, which you can't do all the time, and I think it's about compromise. It's about compromise, that's, that's, that's the word I'm looking for, compromise. There's, there's, gonna be, there's gonna be paperwork for filmmaking, but there's also gonna be creativity, and I think if you can do both, you're gonna succeed, you're gonna excel. And I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. For me, Falmouth University was the best decision I could have made. And I'm, I'm beyond glad I went. And I wouldn't have changed it, really. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that it's the best film course in the UK. But when it comes to an arts university, it's definitely up there. I hope this video was helpful to some of you, and if you are genuinely considering going to Falmouth, then leave me a comment, uh, go to my Instagram, you can, you can send me a message. A few people do. I get a lot of messages, actually, saying that people are still watching the videos that I've made, which is great, which is really good. Um, and if there's anything else you do want me to cover, then let me know, and I will, I will try my best, because uh, I have just been there for three years. Um, and, and, and yeah. If you could give this video a like, because I'm trying to get back into making YouTube videos, it's been, it's been way too long. And I will chat to you very, very soon. Thank you very much. Bye.